Hi everyone, it's Alex from Sigma, and uh, we are going to check if the new Microsoft Teams for Linux is any good comparing to Windows. I'm going to cover the basic and advanced features and see if it really does the job. And uh, for this demonstration, I'll be using Ubuntu 18.04 and this nice red jumper with my reindeer with a fluffy nose. <laughs> And links to the announcement, downloads, uh, will be in the description down below the video. And please don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and share the video if it is useful for you. Now let's download the Teams client. Download the DEB for Ubuntu. And yeah, we can select that to open. Now it's available here for us to install. Let's install. Installation done. Let's launch it. Looks like a web login first. And then loading again. And that's it. We're in. Well, so let's check settings. Yeah, we have auto start. Dark theme, very nice to have from day one already. Yeah, same settings, exactly the same as Windows. Yeah, exactly the same. Yep, like to like feature wise with the Windows client. Yeah, activity tab, same. Let's test here, message with another account. There's, yeah, quite responsive. Quite nice. Messages, uh, images going through as well. Um, let's call and try to do screen sharing. Yeah, screen sharing is working. Really nice. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's try channels. So, yes. hmm. yeah, files, let's see, well, that was actually quick, very quick to load, let me see, XLS, that, that's nice, that's, that's actually really nice, it loads as fast as in Windows, maybe even quicker. It's a web interface, but really good. Now let's try some meetings. So yep, another thing that seems to be yeah, working fine. Has Microsoft whiteboard, nice as well. Well, I'm gonna try to make some voice phone calls. Because I'm running this as a virtual machine, I'll need to disconnect my headset here. Well, so far what I can say, uh, 
pretty much all the functions are here you can make phone calls meetings chat is working fine as well the channels sending files messages accessing sharepoint through teams i'm actually really surprised how well did this come uh, from microsoft on its first public release this appeals a lot to IT professionals that use Linux on the desktop and also educational institutions that have large um, desktop deployments using Linux. The only problems I had so far was when I was doing some further testing, uh, two-factor authentication when you try at first, it seems to struggle a bit with the login and you need to try twice, not a big deal. And also the screen sharing, if you start the call as a screen sharing, it fails. But if you start a remote call and then afterwards you start the screen sharing, it works fine. So again, it's more, it's more detail for first release. I would say that you can pretty much work on this as a, like a 90% equivalent to a Windows version. And uh, yeah, I'll give like a really, really good thumbs up for Microsoft to making this possible. Really nice for people that are using Linux. And even if you don't use Linux, get um, VirtualBox or VMware Workstation, install Ubuntu or Fedora or some other Linux distribution and test it. It's really nice. And for people that are using Linux as a daily driver, you're going to be amazed. It is, it seems to be a web wrapper. So perhaps it's not like a full fat client exactly the same as Windows, but it's working pretty well. That's what matters. Microsoft is being a bit more platform agnostic now and I'm very happy with it. So yeah, good job. And uh, let's see how the next few releases go. If you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up and also check my other video. I have a tutorial, how to deploy Microsoft Teams with telephony. It can replace your phone system and it's quite nice for small and medium sized companies. Have a quick look, it might be really useful for you. Thank you very much for watching, happy Christmas everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.